all right y'all so we are back with another video man and this one we're going to be talking about something that i've never actually presented here on the channel i mean i talk about it in the patreon a lot like i'm i never stop talking about it in the patreon because this is actually where i've been making my money yet so far on this bull run like but i actually got into a huge opportunity early um i mean pretty early like i'm, I'm actually kind of a whale <laughs> in, in certain certain areas of nation fi so um, yeah, that that's actually huge. It's a different change of pace to, to be fair as well. So yeah, like that that being said, like there's so much opportunity. There's so much stuff that, that we've been digging into. I actually dove into trading this year as well. Um, and yeah, that that eh, I mean it hasn't gone too it has it hasn't gone horrible, but but it's kind of gone horrible because like I took some trades and my worst performing trades is when I had the most money in there. So even though technically I I'm my my I win the losses is just bigger than the wins because even though I've won a lot the wins was like when I was kind of dipping my toe in and the losses has been when I'm just okay let's go it YOLO <laughs> and yeah so yeah trading is not for me I decided yeah we're not doing that we're gonna stick to investing and doing what we're doing over here so yeah that being said man um check out the Patreon bro like I'm not gonna keep preaching it. It is what it is. I'll be flexing the earnings soon. I mean, I mean, whenever, whenever the bull run really takes off, because right now we're just setting up, getting in position. I've been put getting the money to put into these um, projects and stuff like that. So that that's basically what's been going on, man. Um, at the end of the day, it's a lot of money out here, a lot of opportunity, and there's a lot of different ways to go about finding a strategy that works for you where you can mitigate your risk and also get some earnings everybody else is making all this money making all these gains and a lot of people are just sitting around waiting for one project it doesn't matter what the project is i don't care about the legitimacy of this project or that project or any of that there's just money everywhere and people are leaving money on the table that's one thing that i learned last bull run so much money left on the table that i didn't even know were there because i wasn't looking at any other tables now, best believe I walk in the restaurant, hey, is that steak over there? Oh, you got the lobster? I mean, I don't eat seafood, but listen, what's the benefits of that? Okay, I might get a little seafood. Like, bro, I'm, I'm, listen, I'm, I'm everywhere. <laughs> I'm everywhere, bro. Like, it's too much opportunity. The world is changing. You got to adapt. You have to, you have to keep growing. You have to keep learning. And yeah, like, it, it's so much that comes with it, man. So much that comes with it. But we're diving into Nation 5. This, if you don't understand what NationFi is, essentially this is just all the countries over on the Solana blockchain. This is all the countries that the narrative around this, this whole little space of NationFi, the narrative is that Elon Musk, a few weeks ago, he mentioned that something big, he was gonna do something big in Argentina, for instance. When he said that Argentina pumped up to over a million dollar market cap, and and this this is what this is what it means. Like Andrew Tate said something about Germany. Germany then pumped up to over a million dollar market cap as well. So essentially, you're still in the meme coin space. This is the meme coin space, but the catalysts are tied to the real world. Like this is it's a stronger case and stronger argument. It's not just a random dog, it's not just a random cat, it's not Drake's mustache or some some weird stuff like that. Which I mean, I mean respect to all those communities. This is all community driven. Once you start to understand meme coins, you understand that it's full, fully community driven. Um which essentially is what some some people are already invested in and don't realize it. It's all about the community keeping certain things alive. So I, I was comfortable diving into these community-based projects once I started to understand and learn, oh, that's what makes this valuable. That's why people are holding. That's why this, that's why that. Okay, okay, I, I get it. Because it, it is a lot more, it's, it's a lot less speculative than you would think that it is. Now, jumping into a new one, wild, wild west, bro. Do, do it at your own risk. <laughs> do it at your own, like, I done got rugged quite a few times since jumping on Solana and really diving in trying to learn. But I paid the tuition, so some of you all won't have to. I talk about a lot of the stuff that I go through and I did a lot of stuff that I try and stuff like that over on the Patreon. I probably won't be making too many videos on that. I'll make some here and there on this channel, but we'll be diving in, educating more. I'll be doing that that part of the, the journey here a lot more as well. So the more free content is definitely coming soon. Um, but yeah, so that being said, the, the Olympics is coming up. You got the Olympics coming up. The Olympics, the, the, the biggest narrative, for the, I'll give one away. I'll give one away since I've already talked about it on the Patreon. Um, I, I'll give one away here. The biggest narrative for 
the Olympics is it's taking place in France. So obviously that's going to be big. You look at the market cap on America. This market cap was at about 80 million. 80 million, like this This is pretty much, America is the Bitcoin for this space. Um, it's projected that this could get up very, very much higher. Like a lot of this stuff is undervalued. So as you can see, you can see this compared to this. At the point where the Olympics is going on and it's in France, imagine what's going to go on with the with the French with the France coin. Now, I'm not telling anybody to jump in nothing. I'm not telling anybody to do nothing. I'm telling people what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing. I'm not a financial advisor. These are the moves that I'm making. This is the logic that I'm going by. If that's not enough for you, that's not a strong enough argument for you, that's fine. I'm not trying to argue you into any project. I'm telling you the arguments that I'm settling for. It's like, ah, I, I can throw some money in there. I believe in that. I, I think that that's logical. And I'm telling you what, I, I made a video today where I took profits. One of these plays, like actually, listen, I'm, I'm damn near playing with house money in some of these plays. This stuff has pumped up and gone down so many times that if you're taking profits, you're playing with house money. And that that's the beautiful thing about finding opportunities early. Cause check this out. Like so, I was in some of this stuff before it even hit, um, before it even hit a million dollar market cap. So, and, and then you can go and look at what some, and I'm not giving nothing away, but you can go straight to the bottom and see what is a slept on narrative. You can go Lebanon. What does Lebanon got? Philippines, uh, Luxembourg. Um, Yemen, Japanese coin, mm, what Japan got? They got some anime. It's two of these though. I'm not in this one. I'm in another one. But yeah, we'll, I mean, listen, I don't know the difference between these, but I, I mean, the, the higher market cap ones don't scare me. You got Cuba, New Zealand, Swedish, Swedish coin, Pinoy. This is the other Philippines coin. Um, Africa, Sir, Serbia, Jamaica. Like, listen, as you as you see these countries, um, you can decide if you believe that something is undervalued, like especially if you travel a lot, if you know some countries are in crypto, like I'll tell you one thing, there's something in this range right here on this page that was leading crypto, was leading a site, was leading an aspect of crypto at one point in time. There's some like, and I'm heavily invested in that. I'll just say that. I'm not gonna give any more details. Like, listen, if you wanna know the full spiel, you know what a Patreon is, but I'll, like that, this is how I've been making my money this boy run. I've been going down here and saying, okay, what are people sleeping on? Then when I find what people sleeping on, I buy it and then it pumps to here. I was in Brazil coin early and Brazil coin is still has not hit a million. I was in Spain coin, like just, just and I'm talking about before they hit these market caps. So like, this is just to give you some, some information on, listen, how I'm approaching this man. Like easily I could jump into some, I'm, I'm also in America too though. I'm, I'm in America. I've been in America for a while now, but I could jump into something with a million, $3 million market cap. That's still not very high to where I think some of this stuff can go. That's not very high at all. But what am I jumping into something? Like the ones that's, that, some, some of the ones that's down here, I believe should be at a million. So if I could buy something for what? 20, let's say 20,000. Like, I, I don't know what, nothing about New Zealand. This is not one that I'm in. I'll just say that. But what if I could grab New Zealand for 20,000 and I believe that that's going to a million? $20,000 market cap and I think that this is going to a million? Come on, bro, gains. That's gains right there. So, I mean, it's all about what you know, what you understand, what you wanna dive into. Or you can hear some of my narratives and some of my thoughts or other people. It's people who give their own narratives and opinions and stuff like that on Twitter. It's people out here giving their own opinions and stuff. Listen, I, I make things easy. I tell y'all how I think. Like, and listen, I'm not the smartest guy in the world, bro. I'm still learning. I, I work hard every single day to try to understand more and more. I'm just a hard worker. That is what I do. I'm a hard worker. I'm no genius. I'm no nothing. Um, And this is why I don't take crap from nobody, bro. Like, look at this. Russia, Russia is up 100% today. Like, oh, and, and, and one, the one that I took profit on is up over a hundred. It was up over a hundred percent when I took profit, and now it's gone down. By the way, but yeah, Russia. If people who got into Russia would be up over a hundred percent right now, hundred and three percent UK coin, and this is only a hundred and forty three thousand. You don't think the UK is going to get up to a million? Come on now, like that, that's damn near a ten x. You jump in right now, that's damn near a ten x. Not financial advice, just saying. Like some of this stuff is just laughably not close to a million dollar market cap. So, some of the stuff is like, just like, and but 
Also, here goes some free game, some more free game. I don't buy when something is in the green. You're not gonna catch me buying on green days. It don't make sense. When I buy, this is down negative 10%. If, if, if Canada was something I believed in, this would be the type of day where I would buy into Canada. Negative 10%, negative 20, even better. Like these are the type of days I'm looking for. These are the type of days I'm looking for, negative 28%. Like this, this is, hey, just, just letting you know, like, because people will see this, people will see stuff like this. Oh, 103%, let me jump in. Then you jump in and realize it dumps on you and you, you wonder what, what happened. Like, oh, it was a scam. No, you you were an idiot. Like, <laughs> that, that, anyway, but yeah, so there we have it. Um. This is this is nation five man. As you can see, the total the total market cap of every country listed right now is seventy one million. Come on now, not even a B, a billion. Every country combined is not at a billion, not at a billion, bro. The entire nation five is not at a billion. You have one meme coin that can be in the billions. That's in the billions in 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 crypto. Yet this whole nation five. This is how early of an opportunity it is. <laughs> now, like, I, like I'm telling y'all, man, I've been in here making money for a long time. I've been in here, not a long time. It just came out not long ago, but I've been in and out of this market, you know, for, for a while now. So, listen, it's some of these where I'm, like I said, I'm playing with house money at this point. And that's the best feeling. Getting in something so early, buying it low selling high getting back in letting it ride up again so now you you got your whole initial investment out like you you got your whole initial investment out because <coughs> some of this stuff i got it I, i'll say this some of this stuff one of these in particular i got in the earliest i think was like thirteen thousand dollar market cap thirteen thousand dollar market cap so if you get into something at a thirteen thousand dollar market cap and it goes up to a million dollar market cap you could hold the whole time. You don't even got to take the risk of, you don't got to take the risk of cashing out or any of that. You could just hold. Some of this stuff is just going to go and you know that it's just going to go. You just keep putting more in. It's like, no matter what strategy you do, it's very hard to lose. It is very hard to lose. So, listen, I'll just say that. This this is one of the narratives that I've been, um, I've been I'm fully in support of. Like, I, I know... And the thing is, let me tell you all a, tr a trick to how crypto work. Everything is going to be a scam to somebody. Somebody is going to get into something, get wrecked and believe that it's a scam because timing is everything. So let's say you get into a project and it is a complete scam, but you get in early, it pumps up and you cash out before whoever owns that dumps it. That was a scam, but you didn't get scammed because your timing was good. So there's a risk to everything. Like I said, I've been rug pulled. Like I, I've been rug pulled on quite a few projects where I'm like, okay, let me try this. Let me trade. Let me see what's happening. That It's happened. It happens, especially when you're learning. You got to pay your tuition. But the thing is people will go to school and pay $25,000, $50,000, dollars for school, but you won't sit here and lose a couple of hundred dollars to, to learn how to not lose your money no more. Listen, I'd rather pay a five hundred thousand dollar, two thousand, even three thousand dollar tuition than than to pay and then make tens of thousands of dollars than to sit here and, you know, that's just me, that's just me, man. But yeah, and as you can see, these are a lot of the narratives around. This is a lot of narratives. So here, so Sweden, you could you could tell yourself like around this time, um, five eighteen. Oh, this already happened. <laughs> that already happened. So I wonder if, if it actually pumped that day. I wonder if it pumped that day. Now nah, we ain't gonna check it out. I don't care. Really. Um, um let's see. May 2024, 25th to 26th, 29th. So this is a lot of stuff that's happening. This is a lot of catalyst catalyst that's coming up here. Italy. A lot of stuff for Italy, the USA, Canada, um, USA. <clears throat> Spain. So yeah, sports, you got sports stuff happening, France, um, Olympic Games, Olympic Games. See, this is the biggest narrative. It's not coming until the 26th of July to August. 26th of July to August. Like the biggest narrative for France. This is the biggest narrative for France right here, bro. The biggest narrative for France. And look how early it is. Nobody who's thinking about what what's going to make them money from July 
26th to August 11th. Who's thinking about what's going to make them money? Like, nobody's thinking about what's going to make them money. They're, they're looking at the new dog meme coin that came out today, bro. Nobody's looking at stuff like this. But this is how you invest. You're, you're supposed to be looking at what people aren't looking at yet, especially when it comes down to these meme coins. I'm not looking for projects to get married to, but I am looking in for spaces strong enough to and with a strong enough narrative that's actually going to go somewhere, you know, that actually can sustain, last, blow up big, and, and you know, hold its own. Because there's always going to be new catalysts happening within these places and new things to blow it up and, and stuff like that. So this is a narrative that I, I actually I actually like. I actually like this narrative. So just letting you all know of, of a big opportunity here um, that I've been taking advantage of. And I know this is an opportunity. Listen, like I said, timing is everything. I, when I first started diving in, when I first started getting into this, I was talking about it on the Patreon. At this point, I am in a place where I've made a lot of money from it. And so if I sit here and tell you all about it and it doesn't go anywhere now, I, I've been in it making money this whole time. So it wasn't a scam for me. <laughs> like if you get scammed, it's on you. You get into stuff at your own risk. But like I said, the biggest narratives has, has yet to come. The biggest narratives has yet to come. That's why I'm still holding. I am still holding. I'm still in the market. I, like I said, I'm a whale on some of these. Like it's not hard to be a whale on some of these, bro. It's really not. <laughs> it's, really, it's really not. So, yeah. That being said, I just wanted to share, share with you all this narrative, share with you all something that I see a lot of potential in and something like that that's that I've made money on. And this is what I got going on, bro. Now, if you want to keep up to date with my moves, my exact moves as I'm making them, when I'm cashing out, when I'm taking profits, what I'm doing with those profits, my whole strategy and approach to this space and to this bull run, listen, like, that's what the Patreon is for, man. I'm trying to build up the Patreon community, trying to have a strong group of people with me making money because at the end of the day, I know what it's like to be broke. I know what it's like to be poor. I know what it's like to have that mindset and you you don't have a lot. So you sit here and you think every single person in the world is trying to take advantage of you and you, you, you don't want to jump into something because you might be getting scammed and stuff like that. At the end of the day, everything comes with risk. And I want to be surrounded by the people who want to overcome those risks, don't know how, is willing to take a chance on certain opportunities and you take these chances, you potentially take these chances with me of your own free will. You take these chances with me. We all make a lot of money together. We all get rich together. So now we have a lifelong connection because we done built, we we built our wealth together. Like those are the people that I, because in the future, when we all got money, we all got, got an abundance of money and stuff like that. Then we could do even more business together, make money together. Like, what do I need a network of broke people for, bro? A network of broke people don't help nobody do nothing, bro. So th this is what my community is all about. This is what my community is all about, man. Um, you don't have to join. Like I said, it's just an option. And obviously, I'm not out here giving away game for free, bro. Like I said, I have goals. I have aspirations. So being a part of my network right now, it does cost. It, it does cost. It's about 30 people right now, about 30 people. Um, but yeah, that being said, let me know what you all think. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Let me know some of the projects that you're in, that you're enjoying, that you're seeing gains in and all that. And yeah, I'm going to catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.